my friends, thanks for stopping by. I hope you're all having a great day. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me and I'm going to be using some of my summer favorites. Um, and I tried to keep it down to just one little item, but it's not always possible. Okay. All right. So I'm going to start out by sharing that I already did put my uh, primer on, which will come as no surprise. It's the Elgenist pore corrector anti-aging primer. This one has just worked really well for me, probably the best since the Rachel K CC cream. And what I look for in my primer is that it camouflages my pores, okay? And uh, this one does such a good job for me. So I put that on because it is best to let that just set for a few minutes before you start your makeup. And uh, on my lips, I went ahead and put a lip balm, new lip balm I've been using, and this is Emile Cordon. And this is a Cashmere on Lip Pot by Emile Cordon. And I will list and link everything below for you. And this has multiple uses. I've been using it only on my lips and it, it does feel like cashmere, my friends. It's very nice. Um, it's got a totally different feel than my La Mer, which you know is my most favorite in the whole world. But these are very, very nice. Now I'll put just a little bit on for you to see. I have, I put a little bit on just to get my lips moist. And it does have it has beautiful slip, but it does have a little bit more sheen than my um, La Mer. But anyway, so um, I, go, I went ahead and primed my lips with this. And you can also use this on your cuticles, your lips. It actually says that um, it nourishes, it softens lips, it reduces lip lines, it anti-ages, and it impro improves circulation on your skin. That's interesting. And it is made in the USA. And, the one and this one is number 72 Cocoa, and it is white coconut cake. Good enough to eat. It has a very nice, very mild scent to it. And I also have another one, and this one is called Lisa, and it is Rose Champagne. And you can see that it is pink. And it has a very, very subtle, subtle, subtle rose. Not enough to be offensive to anyone who really just doesn't like rose. It, it's almost like a sweeter, it's like you almost can smell the champagne bubbling amongst the roses. But um, I also have an extra of the Lisa that will go to one of you, and I'm just going to pick somebody from the comment section from underneath this video. Um, I've decided that when I'm going to do things, it has to be even um, even on the, the sly, even more quiet than I usually do a giveaway because people are trying to claim gifts that... Um, and saying they are the certain people when mm -mm, they're not. And uh, you can't fool me, okay? All right, so anyway, um, let's get started. Okay, so for foundation, I have some honorable mentions and two of them. One is a full-blown foundation, the other is a tinted moisturizer. Uh, I do enjoy the Glow Mineral Luxe, and this is the liquid foundation. Uh, and it has an SPF of 18 anti-aging diamond powder technology. This is a very nice foundation. I like it because it can be worn very sheer or you can build it up. So an honorable mention goes to the Glow Mineral Lux. And for my tinted moisturizer, I do want to get the darker shade of this so that I can mix them. But I do enjoy the La Mer. And this is the um, the reparative skin tint and it has an SPF of 30. It's a very nice shade. I should probably show you the shade and it goes on very nicely and you can see that it just, it, it's, I don't think if you have a lot of scars, you'll be able to wear this. I have a bruise on my hand. Oh, that was when I was walking a puppy, my mace. I walk with mace, yes. Um, it was banging up against my hand. Okay, so you can see that it really doesn't give a whole lot of coverage, but some days I do like that. So keep that in mind if you're somebody who really does like to cover up your scars. All right, so I'm going to be using two sponges that I always fall back on, Beauty Junkie, and this is from L'Oreal. And the foundations that I'm going to use, I do mix because even though I don't lay out in the sun, 
I do get a little color because I'm outside with the puppies. I'm walking them all the time and just weeding and doing things. But um, the La Mer is perfect for me in the winter, but in the summer I need just a little bit of color to it. So I'm adding my YSL Touche Clot Late Tint, the Radiance. And this one here I'm adding is um, Warm Sand. And the color that I wear, I'll put them below because that'll just make me go forever. So everything will be below. And I'm just going to take like two pumps of that one. You don't really need that much. I just want to make sure I have enough for the video. And then I'm just going to put a little dot of that one in. All right. So now we are going to go ahead and I'm just going to mix that up in my hand. Of course, if you want to be professional, you would use your little tray and blend away and then, you know, like you're an artist and just sweep it on. <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to take a little bit on all the points of my face that I apply on my foundation. And I'll go ahead and use the L'Oreal sponge. And I'm going to just take up the excess that was on my hand and I'm gonna start tapping. Now I do want a sheer coverage today and the Beauty Blender is the perfect tool for that because it will sheer out for you <clears throat> and um, just give you that look you want. You can also build up with the Beauty Blender. But for today, I'm going just for a very subtle foundation look. And you can see that's just the perfect color. Move those lines around, lady. Right there. All right, and then we're just going to tap out our forehead. And I probably could use a little bit more, but I'm not going to. But what I am going to do is I'm going to take some of the La Mer instead of using a concealer because I didn't really bring a favorite concealer because concealers are not my friends these days, okay? Because my eyes have wrinkles. Okay, so I'm just going to take a little bit of the La Mer alone because I don't want to add that all that darkness underneath my eyes because I already have my own darkness. And I'm going to go ahead and tap it where I have all that bluing on my eyes. Take this, the pointier end and we're just going to bring that right up underneath to camouflage out some of that veining. And I'll take a little bit above the eye because I have a ton of veining there. Okay, so we've just, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get away from using so many products underneath the eyes because I do have to use the powder to set or it's just gonna crease all over the place because I have a roadmap going on underneath there. So we okay, so there's that. Now, this next product I'm gonna use, I don't know if we can find this. It is by Guerlain and it is the terracotta and it is the terracotta touch and it's a white it's it's uh, a lower pure with pure gold but why i like it is it gives a little bit of a brightening effect and it also has a little bit of peach tone now i will say that joelle sent me this a while ago and i have not seen this anywhere so this may be only available in the European market, or maybe it was here and it was discontinued, or maybe my Canadian friends will be able to find it. But this is some, I, I like it because it has just enough peach tone and the glow you get is very subtle. Okay. Because sometimes glow under the eyes, my friends is not good when you have lots of wrinkles. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and tap that out around. And this is just to help with the bluing because it has a little bit of the peach to it. And then I will just take my finger and really tap it into the dark areas of my eye because I don't want to really take too much of it off, but we don't want to put it all over because I really don't need it as heavily in other areas. Okay, so you can see that it's really done a good job. So now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to really just lightly tap to make sure that there are no start and stop lines. Okay. Same thing here. Okay, that's done. So now, um, you know, this is one product I don't think that I will ever stray from. It, it says Stay Don't Stray by Benefit uh, as my primer. It just works so well for me because of the darkness I have. I can also use Painterly by MAC, but I like this because Painterly ends up drying out and I end up wasting half of it where this doesn't. And I'm just going to go ahead and tap that on. And as I'm tapping, I'm rubbing just slightly to move it around, but I still like to tap it because then I'm not taking it all off. I mean, if you start rubbing things really 
aggressively, you're just taking it all off. So I tap and press and pull, press and pull. It's, it's very light action with the finger. Okay, so I'll take the sponge just to make sure I have no stop and go lines. And you see that just works miracles for me. It truly does. Okay, so that is my, um, all my priming, my foundation, and so on. So now for powder, I have two powders that I have really been liking, and uh, one you've heard me talk, well, you've heard me talk about both of them. And one is RMS Beauty, and I have the Untinted in 2-3. It does have a color, and I like that because sometimes I don't want all that brightness underneath my eyes. And I will say this is such a refined powder. It does work for underneath the eyes. And the other one is the La Prairie. I did not want to like this because it is ridiculous in price, but you do get a lot of product and you also get a travel size when you order this one. And this is just the uh, translucent one. Again, has just the perfect amount of color for me. All right, so, um, and I have been using both of them. One I use under my eyes and that is the RMS. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap out anything that may have formed in the line. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put that powder on very quickly. I'm not packing, I'm not baking, I'm just setting, okay? I don't do, uh, the baking is just too much for an aging eye, my friends, it really is. So I'm gonna go ahead and just tap it in and set that. And you can see it's just a really refined powder. All right, so now for my face, I'm just going to lightly use some of the La Prairie. You could use that uh, that I just used, but I really do like the uh, La, uh, La Prairie on my face. So I'm taking a beauty blender now, and I'm going to pick up some of that powder, and I'm going to focus it where I'm going to be putting my blush, okay? Because that's where I don't want it, you know, things dragging or catching on certain areas. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I like using the Beauty Blender for this. And I'm just gonna go right up over to my nose area because I think a lot, many, many women powder the nose still. Okay, so there you have it. Now I'll take some more of the powder and I'm going in the T-zone area. And I'm also going to do my chin area. And then I don't add any more. I'm just gonna go along and nicely spread it. Nicely spread it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna turn it around for a minute and I'm gonna pick some up and I'm gonna take out that wrinkle, that crease right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and set that. This just helps you, well, it sets the primer, which the primer doesn't need to be set, but because I have, uh, I don't have really super dry eyes in the summer, so I like to just give it a little extra staying power. And I also like to be able to sweep my shadows on quickly. All right, so there you have that. So now I'm going to take no powder on this brush. I'm taking my favorite powder brush that I've been using for a while in Sephora, and it's the um, 91. And I'm just going to sweep down, not hard. I'm just spreading that powder, making sure that I have no clumps of powder anywhere. And I'm gonna go right over my eyes to make sure that any excess has come off my eyes, okay? So now, um, <clears throat> I'm going to use, you know, I, I didn't expect to love this as much as I do, my friends. I am loving, loving, loving the Naked Urban Decay Heat. But of course, all of these colors are right up my alley, okay? Let me do this. Right up my alley. I, they are all beautiful, warm tones. Just love them. So I am going to stick with using this because I think I have used this almost every day since I got it. And I have tried all of the shadows. Not all of them are my, you know, do I love, but I think for the fall, ooh la la, this is gonna be beautiful. All right, so I'm just gonna go in. I'm gonna take the second color which is Chaser, and I'm going to pat this on. I'm not going to brush it on, I'm patting it on. And I'm just keeping it focused, as you can see, right where my crease would start to the edge of my eye, and I'm just making sure that I have that nice base. It's almost the same as the powder and stuff, but it just has a little bit of warmth to it, 
which I like, so. Now I'm going to take that same brush, and this is a favorite of mine, MAC 227, and I'm going to take some of the first color, mix it with that second color, and try to get an even amount, and then I'm just gonna tap it slightly, and I'm gonna bring that up to my brow bone, and work it down to join my crease area, okay? I feel that this one is just a bit too warm for underneath my brow bone, so I just mix them, tap it, and then apply, and we are good to go. All right, so we have our base on. So now I'm going to pick up my, this brush here, my Tom Ford, has just been a favorite, favorite, favorite of mine. It's the blending brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to pick up the color Sauced, and it's the third color, and it has the peachier tone to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna place that in my crease, and notice I'm just tapping it in the crease I love this brush. I love it, love it. It's, I think it's one of my most favorite blending brushes. And see, I'm just really creating a crease here, ladies. And I'm just using one shade right now. Okay. Just gonna pack a little bit more color right there. Notice I'm staying right in the crease area. This is not a tutorial. It's just a get ready with me. And I keep trying to make everything a tutorial. All right. So just placing that color on. This is the perfect shade for me. Okay, so now I'm just gonna sweep just to make sure that I have everything even and smooth. I didn't add anything new to the brush though. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the Bedellium, and the Bedellium brush, you can, these are very inexpensive, and they're great for sweeping away excess that falls out, or just softening a line that you might have gotten crazy with and it's just the right amount of brush. It's a little bit bigger, but I do love it for just softening out my edges. And that is that. Okay, so now I think I'm gonna go in and we'll put a little bit of, uh, let's put some tone in there. We'll go in and we'll take some cayenne here. Now for the cayenne, I'm gonna use a narrower brush and we'll use this Louise Young blush. You can get these now, uh, I think they might be on Lisa's site now, but the Louise Young. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna pick up that cayenne, which is a rich, rich burnt orange. And I'm just gonna go ahead, and this, this is such a fine brush, and I'm really gonna sculpt out that crease area. Okay, same thing, picking more up on the other eye. Back in with the Bedellium. And I'm just gonna soften that line. This is just going, I'm just going for a nice natural look. This is also a favorite brush of mine. And this is the, I believe, number four in the Artiste brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to pick up some of that fourth color, which is called Low Blow. And I'm gonna really work it into the bristles of this brush and then I'll just tap lightly. And I'm going to go ahead and just fill in the corner here. This brush is perfect for this. Just adding some depth to the outer edge. I didn't want it too dark because I wanna keep this natural but I do need a little something there. Okay, I'm gonna take my beauty blender and I'm just gonna clean up underneath. Okay, so I think I'm gonna take, um, let's see. Let's take, I've never, let's see, let's take some dirty talk, why not? And we're just gonna tap the dirty talk right here. Just on the lid a little. Yeah, that's pretty. All right, little dirty talk with your finger. And we will just tap it on the lid area, not a lot. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a pencil brush and I'm just gonna take that low blow and we are gonna go underneath our eyes and just join up on the corner. Remember, you can use your tape for this, ladies. If you need your guideline, use your tape. Okay, I'm just gonna add a little touch of color right here. It seems like I have a little more on the other eye than this eye. All right, so there you have it, Naked Heat, absolutely love it. I'm gonna go ahead and take that Bedellium brush and I'm just going to do a quick sweep over the lid to make sure that I have everything smooth. 
hold the brush far away towards the end and you'll have a lighter pressure. Okay, I'm gonna take that Tom Ford brush and I just wanna sweep above now. No extra color on the brush, just softening that line and any color that is on the brush will transfer and just make it an easier transition. Okay, so there are my eyes without my brows, which I will do after. So Tom Ford brush, artist brush I shared with you. Okay, so now we're going to talk about um, bronzers. I have two bronzers that I absolutely love. One I've talked about before, so I won't harp on it. It is the La Mer bronzer. It is fabulous. It just is the gr perfect, it's a perfect tone and it has four different shades. It has a slight shimmer, which is perfect for our aging skin. Just love this and I love the way it smells, but we're not going to use that one. And when I am using the La Mer, my most favorite brush to use with it is the Tom Ford 05, the bronzing. This brush is fabulous, fabulous. Brush this way, you can brush it, fabulous. It's great for blending down too. So I love those, but, and I did not like this product at all when I first bought it. I thought, oh, another waste of money. The Hourglass, and this is the Ambient Radiant Bronze Light. Looks like this, love it. Here's the trick. I found what brush works best for me. So I am using, this is the MAC 127. Uh, you can use any brush that gives you a, um, it's kind of like a dome type of brush. And well, when I first got it, it was. And it's kind of loose, it's feathery. So I like that about this. So I go in and I kind of sweep down on the product and then I tap it off a little and it did pick up quite a bit. So tap any excess. So now what I do is I take this and I just will start tapping this brush first and then I will do a sweep of it. I tap, sweep, tap, sweep, tap, sweep. It's like I'm telling you how to dance and I love it. And the more you feather this, the more sheen that comes out of it without sparkle. I absolutely love it. I actually bring this one a little bit more in so I get that sun-kissed look. But this brush, and notice I'm holding the brush far down because I don't want to smash it onto the skin. I'm just using the tips of this brush and I love it. And then I'll just take it and frame around my forehead a little bit here. And I go close to my hairline. Now, if you have white hair like me, you have to be careful because you will see it on your hairs. All right, and then I'll just take it lightly and sweep it down my neck because I want my face and my neck to look like they go together. Okay, that's important ladies. I have a hair. Okay, same thing on the other side. There is the bronzer, I just love it. You could, you could put more on if you like more. All right, so now what I do is I do have a blush by Hourglass that I have absolutely been loving. And this is their ambient Brilliant Nude. Now I will tell you when you go to buy these, open it up and look at it. The first one I had was just all cream. It had hardly any of the peach. So I took it back and I uh, said to the girl, I want to exchange this for one that has more peach tone or the nude tone to it. And the trick to this one, now I have two brushes that I like to use on this one. And one is the Wayne Goss number no. two brush. But the brush that I like even more that I think is a much nicer brush. I mean, Wayne Goss brushes are nice, but the Suku and Michelle actually sent this to me for my birthday. I think it's Suku. I don't know how to Suku. Uh, and it doesn't have a number on it, but it's very much the same type of brush. So what I do is the reason why I like these brushes, they are so soft, so soft, and they pick up just the right amount of product. So what I do with this, I don't swirl this. I take this brush and I just tap it lightly. And I tap it so it's picking up more of the nude, but it is still in the peach uh, or the cream. And then I will just tap a little bit and I'm just going to tap this right here and do the same sweeping because Hourglass, their products have always, they say you should sweep them, it brings out the beauty of the product. And I do believe that. So I place that right there and oh, I just love it. Okay, same thing on this side. So there are my cheeks. Now what I do with this, using that same brush, again, if you don't have the Suku and you do have a Wayne Goss, go right ahead and use it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and tap that brush in there 
and then I'm going to sweep it over my eyelid and it just gives such a beautiful glow without any sparkle my friends without any sparkle and that to me is worth every penny this cost because on an aging eye we can use it and that is the finished look of that and then again if you sweep the more you sweep these products the more the beauty of the product comes out so you're getting this beautiful glow without any sparkle so i highly recommend that okay all right so now i have an honorable mention in a blush because when i'm wearing pinks um i kind of want to have a little pink tone blush so this is by eminence and this is their chai berry glow and the case is wooden and it opens up by sliding it and it's just a beautiful pinky nude and that is what it will look like and when you put it on your skin it just gives a subtle glow almost like you have a little bit of wind burn it's really pretty it's very very pretty so i like to wear that when i'm wearing tom ford's spanish pink um, so that's an honorable mention i also wanted to mention while i'm talking about brushes um, i love the artist oval eight it is so fabulous for foundation i like this there, there probably isn't a date night that I don't do my uh, foundation that I use this a lot of times when I'm using uh, doing tutorials I will use sponges uh, and the reason being because these brushes are so expensive but I want people to know that you can get a good look with sponges that are, are more affordable for many people but I do love the artist oval brush so speaking of my sponges I'm just going to go ahead and tap my face and just make sure that everything is there's nothing, no dust hanging around. All right. All right. So the next thing, of course, is going to be tight lining, and no surprise here. Uh, Via Pia by Nar uh, Nars, larger than life pencil, no transfer, perfect color for me. I love. It. Okay. So now I'm going to move on to my lips because I'm going to do my brows and my lashes off camera because I just can't do them on. Um, but I will tell you what I'm, I'm going to use. So I'm going to go ahead and do my lipstick, which of course I'm going to be, I think today I'm going to go a little nudie brown and maybe throw some gloss on it. But I'm using the um, Christian Dior Jungle Brown Liner. I think it's just a perfect, perfect nude okay, brown. Okay, so there is the Jungle Brown Liner and I'm going to be using the Lipstick Queen. And this is their Peach Nude Sinner, Peachy Nude Sinner. Going to go ahead and apply that. It's a very nice color. I love that it has a peach undertone because if it had the blue undertone, I wouldn't be able to wear it. All right, so there is the lipstick together. Now I'm going to mention some other, of course, go-to lipsticks. Tom Ford Spanish Pink, Tom Ford Bare Peach. You all know it. I've talked about them forever. Love them. Now a gloss that I do like is Chanel's Subtil or Subtle. I'll put just a touch of it in the center here so you can see what it does for lipsticks. It just adds a nice little pop of glow in the center of the lips. I don't like gloss all over the place. Uh, especially over lipstick because it just travels, travels, travels. All right, so I do have some other lip liners that I like to use, and one is Hazelnut Tea by Laura Mercier, and that is what it looks like. It is a, it's a mauve -er nude, so if you're like me and have a lot of blue, you have to be a little bit careful with this one, but it does work well with a lot of nudes. The other one, which I think is discontinued, and for me works perfectly when I want to add some color into my peach li lips, is the Chicory by MAC. It's a beautiful burnt red, and it does work well for me, but I think this one has been discontinued. And then Burnt Cinnamon by Gucci is a very nice brown nude which would work for your peaches or your pinks because it does have a slight mauve undertone all right so those are my favorite lip liners that i've been wearing over summer now i have I to go off and i will do my eyebrows which is going to be the usual anastasia brow wiz in caramel and then i use the tinted brow gel in caramel and this has just a slight difference of color from the pencil and what it's really great for ladies is those of us who have really stubborn white eyebrows that will not take dye 
this, these kind of products are wonderful because you can shape your brows and then just run this across and it takes care of all those white brows. I'm telling you, and this is the best one I've ever used. Okay. So that will be my brows mascara for today. I'm going to be using the YSL mascara, but I have two honorable mentions. One is the L'Oreal uh, Voluminous Lash Paradise. Very nice mascara. I will tell you though, I mean, the brush is nice. The formula is nice. It really gives you nice lashes, but there is some flaking with it. But you know, ladies, is there, there's flaking with almost everything. Mascaras. All right. Uh, and then because I love brown mascara so much and there are very few good ones on the market. I have to mention this for all my brown mascara loving people, friends, uh, the Armani mascara in wood. It is the perfect brown. Love, love, love it. All right, my friends. So I will come back and well, let me tell you, I'll, I'm, I'm, I'm going to finish up. All right. So we'll go ahead and we'll spray. This is my setting spray I've been using and I love it. And this is the Jane Iridale. So I just cover my hair and give myself a good douse. I go right over the eyes, everything so that it really um, helps to give me a nice non-powdery look. All right. So that is that runner up is my El Genis hydrating splash. Absolutely love it. Fragrances. I get asked all the time about what's back there. Not much has changed, but I will tell you date night, love bourbon vanilla. Although I wear them all, this is the one I've been reaching for and uh, it's halfway gone. So it is one I love. It just smells so sexy. That's all I'm saying, ladies. Sexy. Okay. That's all I'm saying. All right. So it does. It smells fabulous. And I am not a vanilla lover. Vanilla fragrances I find to be obnoxious on me. They just are gross. Okay. And to be honest with you, when I, when, when another woman is sitting by me and has a lot of vanilla fragrance on, I get very nauseous from it. So I think it's just something in the formula that bothers me, but there are vanilla based fragrances that do smell nice. Like my Burberry has a little bit of vanilla in it. And like I said, the bur bourbon vanilla, it depends on what they're cut with. You know, if they have that patchouli base, they tend to take on a smoldering look, but if they have floral base, then they get really sweet. And then on me, mm -mm, no good. Uh, and two Joe Malone fragrances that I love. And for daytime, uh, I have been reaching for the wood sage and sea salt. Uh, I just love it. I have the body cream in it too, and it's very nice. And then sometimes when I want to change off for nighttime, although I will say Joe Malone fragrances do not last a long time for the money is the blackberry and bay just incredible. All right. Uh, I may as well go finish up my, now I'm not the rollers I'm going to take out and, and my hair will be done when I come back, but I'm actually doing a tutorial that will come up next, or you've already seen it on how I did this and created that look. So uh, in there, I will uh, tell you about the products that I use, my rollers, everything. Uh, all right, right, let me go and do my eyebrows and my lashes, and I will be back with the finished look, although it's almost. All right, so I'm back with the finished look. I've added a pair of my favorite earrings, and these are the Sheila Fajal earrings, and they are everybody's favorite hoops in the gun metal. I absolutely love them. I have them in the brushed silver gold, and I have them in the polished gold, and I also have them in the gun metal. They are the lightest hoops you will ever wear. And we all know the hoops are in style. So that is it for my get ready with me favorites. Let me know beneath what are some of your favorites. I love hearing from you. Sometimes it gives me a new idea. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, thanks for stopping by and don't forget subscribe. We're anti-aging. Be happy, healthy, beautiful, and most of all my friends, lovable. I love you all. Bisous.